We'd like to introduce to you this movie called Wonder. The main character Ogi always wore a toy space helmet. The reason being was to conceal his own face. He was born with a rare medical facial deformity, which made his face destroyed it at birth, so he had to undergo 27 different surgeries. However, those 27 different surgeries left large scars on his face. His mother, Isabel, decided to stop his homeschooling and makes Ogi attend elementary school to get used to the outside world. However, he couldn't make friends and was all alone. Ogi, the son, who doubts himself and asks his mother, Isabel, for support. Isabel, the mother who is lost on how to encourage and cheer Ogi up. How will Ogi grow and deepen his understanding with his surroundings? How will he deepen his relationships with his friends and other people? Pay attention, look forward to it, and please watch it. The first time I watched this movie, my heart was so moved. The movie portrayed the characters' emotions, their ways of thinking, and the way they dealt with each other so clearly and vividly. It was so easy to watch. It's difficult to not have a sense of judgment on people by just seeing their outer appearance. Seeing this movie made me realize and understand that it's also important to look through and to know the inner self that is within everyone. My favorite scene was when Jack punches his friend Julian because Julian called it Ogi Afrik. The reason is because I think that it's impressive to have uh, such great courage to separate yourself from your close friend. And even though he punched him, I know that his action had great reason and meaning. Wonder, or in Japanese, Wonder Kimi wa Taiyo, is a fiction movie. However, this story is based on the real life experiences the author R.J. Palacio had experienced it. R.J. Palacio was inspired to make this movie in hopes that it teaches a valuable lesson that will make us think about how to treat people who are the same like Ogi and other people with disabilities. Other than Ogi, the movie also shows the appearance feelings and the circumstances of the other characters, his sister Beer, Ogi's friend Jack, and Beer's friend Miranda. I felt it was very good that the movie not only shows that people with disabilities like Ogi are suffering tremendously, but the other characters were also suffering and were trying to live as hard as he does. Another very impressive scene in this movie was when Ogi was tested by his classmates and was crying to his mom saying, Why am I ugly? His mother Isabel replied, We all have marks on your faces. Our heart is the map that shows us where we are going and our face is the map that shows us where we've been and it's never ever ugly. Ogi has endured numerous surgeries in the past and has fought his own obstacles. I felt very passionate about Isabel's statement to Ogi that his face is never ugly and that his face is proof that he is strong and that he has lived a hard life. It's a very moving movie. Please watch it! 私たちは、ワンダー君は太陽についての映画を紹介していきます。主人公のオーギーはいつもおもちゃの宇宙ヘルメットをかぶっていました。理由は、いびつな顔で
生まれた自分の顔を隠すためです27回の手術である程度の顔まで整えられましたが顔には大きな傷が残ってしまいました母のイザベルは世間に慣れさせようと自宅学習をやめ小学校に通わせることを決めますがオーギーは友達はできず食事はいつも一りぼっちでしたオーギーは母であるイザベルに自分が醜いからいけないのかと問うとお前は醜くないと母は言いました母であるイザベルはオーギーをどう励まし元気づけていくのかそしてオーギーはどのように成長し周りの人や友達との関係を深めていくのかその場面を注目して見てみてください。この映画を初めて見たんですけど、心が浄化された気がしました。一人一人が持っているいろんな感情だったり、考え方だったり、接し方だったりの変化がしっかり描かれている感じがして見やすかったです。人を見た目で判断しないことはとても難しいことであって、この映画で改めて人の内面を深く知ること、見ることが大切だと感じました。好きな場面はジャックがジュリアンを殴ったシーンです。すごく印象的で一緒にいる友達から離れるのはすごい勇気がいることだと思うけれど自分の意思で手は出してしまったけれど行動したことにすごい意味があると思い選びましたオギーとジャックが仲直りし理科の研究を成功させたりサマーやみんなと食事をしているシーンが私はいいなと思いましたオギーだけでなくみんながいろいろ悩んでいて感情が純粋にあふれ出て喧嘩したり話し合ったりしていて思いを伝えることはとても大事だし相手をしっかり見て向き合ってお互いを理解することがとても大事だと改めて考えさせられる映画でした初めて見ましたがとても良かったです「ワンダー君は太陽」はフィクション映画ですが原作者の RJ パラシオさんが数年前に息子さんお二人とアイスクリーム屋さんに出かけた時に隣のベンチに座っていた女の子の頭部の骨格に障害がありそれを見たパラシオさんの下の息子さんが驚いて泣き出してしまいましたパラシオさんは女の子を傷つけないようにとその場を急いで離れようとしましたが焦っていたため上の息子さんがシェイクをこぼしてしまい状況が悪化してしまったという経験をきっかけに作られています実際にパラシオさんが経験したアイスクリーム屋さんの話がジャック一家がオギーに対して経験した話として映画の中に登場しますパラシオさんがこの映画を作るきっかけになったようにオギーのような見た目やそれ以外の障害を持つ方たちに対してどう接するべきなのかを考えさせられる映画になっていますそしてこの映画はオギーを中心にオギー以外の登場人物姉のビアオギーの友人のジャック・イルビアの友人のミランダのそれぞれの人物の心情や状況についても描かれていて悪役だと思っていたジュリアンにも話の中でトゥシュマン先生がどんな話にも2つの面があると言ったように彼には彼の心情や状況があることが描かれていました私はこの映画のオギーのように障害を持っている人だけが特別に苦しんでいるのではなく一見映画の悪役に見えるジュリアンもオギーの姉も友人も彼と同じように苦しんで懸命に生きようとしているところを描いている部分がとてもいいなと感じましたまたこの映画でとても印象深かった場面はオギーがクラスメートにからかわれ「どうして僕は醜いの?」と泣きながら訴えた時「人の顔には誰にでも印がある」「心は人の未来を示す地図」「顔は人の過去を示す地図」「あなたの顔は決して醜くない」とオギーの母イザベルがオギーに訴えた場面ですオギーは過去に数々の手術に耐え自身の障害と戦ってきましたその顔は決して見にくくなどなく、彼が今まで懸命に生きてきた証拠なのだということをイザベルのこの言葉でとても強く感じましたこの映画はとても感動的な作品となっていますぜひ見てくださいロングアゴ and オネスト
Hardworking old man was cutting trees in the mountains. It was noon, so he unwrapped his lunch to eat the two rice bowls his wife made for him, but he accidentally dropped them in a hole under the tree. <laughs> Then a cute singing voice was heard from the hall, and the old man rolled another rice ball into the hall. When he was listening to the song, the old man suddenly fell into the hall. The place where he fell was a mouse's mansion. The old man was welcomed by the mouse and was treated to a lot of rice cake. On his way home, the old man got a heavy box with lots of gold coins as a souvenir. In their house, the old man and woman looked at a lot of gold coins were very happy. The Yokubari grandma who lived in their neighborhood was watching and she planned to get some gold coins then. The Yokubari grandma went to the mountain with so many rice balls that he could barely hold. He found the hole and threw a large amount of rice balls in there. After that, he jumped into the hole. Yokubari Grandpa, who arrived at the Mouse's mansion, was performing a mochitsuki dance, but looked at the end imitation of crying the cat in an attempt to rob the over gold coin. However, the strategy failed, and Yokubari Grandpa was hurt. By the mice. Barely escaping alive and escaped to home. After that, he seemed to be less greed, probably because of the mental damage. Hello everyone, we are English Career Korean Team. 우리는 영어 캐리어가 한국어 팀입니다. 저는 미나입니다. 저는 세인입니다. 저는 말하고 합니다. 오늘 우리는 일본어와 한국어의 비슷한 말과 한국의 음식과 음간지를 소개하겠습니다. 재밌게 봐주세요. 그럼 시작해 볼까요? So first, I'm going to tell you Korean, which are similar to some Japanese. So, this is yakusok. In Japanese, yakusok, which means promise. This is shigan. In Japanese, jikan, which means time. And this is undon. In Japanese, undo, which means walk out. Right? It is similar to Japanese. There are actually many more. Next, how do you introduce your name? I say I'm Rina in Korean. 저는 리나입니다. As you can see, you just put your name in the red circle. It's easy, right? Both men and women can use 저는, so please try it. Then, how to say yes and no? Usually yes is ne, but the more polite way is ye. Usually no is aniyo, but the more polite way is anim nida. These are easy to speak as well. Korean cuisine has a local flavor and characteristics. In passing, keeping in good health, also pay attention to appearance and flavor. With chili sauce as the most representative of seasons, South Korea much vegetables give priority with 
updaters p i l k e d それではこれから韓国料理をご紹介します。Now I will introduce three delicious cuisines from South Korea. Korea barbecue, t e b o k k i and kimchi. Korea barbecue in Korea, beef is considered an important health food. One of the most popular ways of eating it is seasoning with barbecue sauce first, then grilling on an air plate. 韓国では牛肉は重要な観光食品です。最も一般的な食べ方の一つは、まずバーベキューソースで味付けし、大半で焼きます。After it is cooked, it is dipped in chili sauce or spicy bean paste and rolled in vegetables like lettuce to eat. The taste is fresh and not too greasy. 料理後、チリソースやスパイシーな味噌につけ、レタスなどの野菜に巻いて食べます。そこまで油っこくないので食べやすいと思います。This is a famous snack, especially popular with young women. Pounded sticky rice is shaped into cylindrical shapes and cut. It's then stiff fried in red chili sauce. Sometimes tempura, eggs, and sweet potato will be added. The taste is a delicious mix of spicy and sweet. Topoki wa tsutsujo no mochi de kochijan nado no karai sauce de itame mas. Tempura, tamago, satsumaimo wo yoku ire mas. Spicy de amami no aru oishi yaji de toku ni wakai jose kara ninki ga ari mas. This is one of Korean's famous traditional foods. Generally, it is made from cabbage, cucumber, radish, leaf vegetables. Kimchi has bacteria that supports digestion, which can help in reducing weight. Kimchi は韓国の伝統的な食べ物の一つとして有名です。一般的に白菜、きゅうり、大根、洋菜類で作られます。Kimchi には消化をサポートする細菌が含まれており、体重減少に役立ちます。Finally, I'll introduce sightseeings. Here are three popular tourist destinations in Seoul, the capital of South Korea: b u c h o n p a l g y o n Lotte World, and Myeongdong. First is b u c h o n p a l g y o n It is an area where traditional Korean houses, which have been around for a long time, are clustered. There are cafes and shops, so it is recommended for taking photos and taking a walk. 一つ目はブッチョンパルギョンです。韓国の伝統納屋が密集した地域です。カフェやショップもあるので写真撮りや散歩におすすめです。Next is Lotte World, the world's largest indoor theme park. You can enjoy rides, photo booths, and parades. Lotte World は世界最大の沖縄テーマパークで乗り物、写真ブース、パレードを楽しむことができます。Finally, Myeongdon. Myeongdon is the biggest downtown area in Seoul and is easy to communicate in Japanese. So it is very popular with Japanese tourists, not only cosmetic and fashion shopping, but also beauty salons, restaurants, and hotels can be found here. 最後は Myeongdon です。ミョンドンはソウルで最大の繁華街で日本語でのコミュニケーションが取りやすく日本人観光客に非常に人気があります化粧品やファッションのショッピングだけでなく美容院、レストラン、ホテルもここにありますクレミョン、おぬるんよぎかじはげすみにだてみそそよばあじゅしょそちょんまいかむさみにだ Thank you guys. Have a nice day. Annyeong! Hi everyone! Today we'd like to introduce to you the Philippines. 
皆さんこんにちは。今日はフィリピンを紹介したいと思います。The Philippines is a country in Southeast Asia in the Western Pacific Ocean. It consists of about 7,641 islands that are broadly categorized under three main geographical divisions from north to south Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. The capital city of the Philippines is Manila. The Philippines has an area of around 300,000 square kilometers. Which supports a population of at least 100 million. As of January 2018, it is the 8th most populated country in Asia and the 13th most populated country in the world. Philippines is a country in the Philippines. It 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 is a country in the Philippines. フィリピンの首都はマニラです。フィリピンの面積は約30万平方キロメートルで1億人以上の人口を支えています。2018年1月現在、アジアで8番目に人口が多く、世界で13番目に人口が多い国です。Now, we'd like to introduce to you some famous Filipino dishes. では、有名なフィリピン料理を紹介したいと思います。The first dish is Sinigang. Sinigang is a Filipino soup or stew characterized by its sour and savory taste. It is most often associated with tamarind, although it can use other sour fruits and leaves to make it sour. Its soup is made from any cut of pork along with tomato, string beans, spinach, and tamarind. Philippines' most famous soup, Sinigang. The soup is made from any cut of pork along with tomato, string beans, spinach, and tamarind. The soup is made from any cut of pork along with tomato, string beans, spinach, and tamarind. The soup is made from any cut of 具材はトマト、玉ねぎ、大根などが定番で、それに加えて地域や家庭によってエビや白身魚、豚肉や鶏肉などを入れるものが変わってきます。Next is pinakbet. Pinakbet is an indigenous Filipino dish from the northern regions of the Philippines. It is made from mixed vegetables, steamed in fish or shrimp sauce. 具材にはピナックベッドがおすすめです。ユソン島北部のイロコシ地方の料理で、かぼちゃ、ナス、オクラ、トマト、インゲンなどの野菜を豚肉と一緒に煮込み、エビの塩辛で味付けをした料理です。野菜が多く入っていますが、エビと豚肉の旨味が十分に感じられ、満足感たっぷりの料理です。And lastly, halo halo. In Tagalog, halo halo means mix or mixture. Halo halo is a popular Filipino cold dessert made with crushed ice. Evaporated milk and various ingredients, including among others, ube, sweetened beans, coconut strips, fruit slices, flan, and topped with a scoop of ice cream. Halo Halo is a Tagalog word for maze koze, which means ice cream or fruit, jelly, nimame, pudin, and all the other things that are popular in the Philippine dessert. Now, we'd like to introduce to you some of the famous tourist destinations in the Philippines. では、フィリピンの人気観光スポットをいくつか紹介したいと思います。The Puerto Princesa Underground River, located in Palawan, is a World Heritage Site and is the largest underground river in the world. It is located in the southwestern part of the Philippine archipelago on the midwestern coast of Palawan, approximately 76 km northwest of Puerto Princesa and 360 km southwest of Manila. One of the river's distinguishing features is that it emerges directly into the sea, and its lower portion is subject to tidal influences. The area also represents a significant habitat for biodiversity conservation. The site contains a full mountain to sea ecosystem and has some of the most important forests in Asia. Puerto Princesa Gesen Kokuri Tsukouen, Philippine Nansen no Palawan Tong ni aru sekai san wa sekai sai dai kibo no 地底河川です。鍾乳洞の闇の世界に8キロもの長さを誇るこの川は十分な広さがあるのでボードツアーに参加するのがおすすめですボードの上には巨大な岩が突き刺さり暗黒の天井をコウモリが主張するように飛び回りますが突然開けた広大な空間は大聖堂のような神秘的な雰囲気を漂わせます水中に目を移しても潮流の影響で海洋生生物が泳いでいたりと独自の生態系を作っています。Next is the Banaue Rice Terraces. 
The Banaue Rice Terraces are among the Philippines' top tourist destinations, called the Eighth Wonder of the Modern World by locals. These terraces are said to have been carved into the mountains and hillsides by the ancestors of the local indigenous Ifugao tribes and are well over 2,000 years old. It is also believed that these terraces were created with little or no machinery and were carved mostly by hand. The terraces are about 1,500 meters above sea level and occupy a total area of 10,360 square kilometers. If each terrace was lined up end to end, they would stretch across half the globe. Banaue Rice Terrace Banaue Rice Terrace is a Luzon to the Cordillera Sanmeck in the middle of the Cordillera Sanmeck. In the middle of the Cordillera Sanmeck, in the middle of the Cordillera Located on the western coast of the large island of Luzon, facing the South China Sea, Vegan City is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it is one of the few Spanish colonial towns left in the Philippines. Its old structures have mostly remained intact, and it is well known for its set pavements and unique architecture of the Spanish Philippines colonial area, which fuses native Philippine and oriental building designs and construction with colonial Spanish architecture that is still abundant in the area, mainly the Bahay na Bato houses. Bahay na Bato, which basically means House of Stone is a type of building originating during the Philippine Spanish colonial period. The two story structures are built of brick and wood with a steeply pitched roof reminiscent of traditional Chinese architecture. Vigan Lekistoshi Luzon to Hokubu ni nokoru Spain no yona machinami to kono chiki tokuyu no kenchikubu. Katsute shogyo chi toshite hatten shi. Taifu ya senso no higai yo manugareta. Vigan no machinami no.風景が世界遺産に登録されています。中心を貫く石畳の栗総ロゴ通りには自動車ではなく馬車が走り、タイムスリップしたような感覚となります。特徴的な馬灰ナバトと呼ばれる住宅様式はフィリピンとスペインと
I'm Kaya. I'm Takumi. Today we will talk about Amabia. We hope you like it. Let's get started. Yeah! Yay! Yokai are unusual and non scientific begins with mysterious powers in Japan. The three major yokai in Japan are said to be demons, kappa, and teng. Teng can fly freely in the sky, brings both disasters and happiness to people. Teng have long nose and red skin and wear clothes with one tooth in stand on called ippongeta and carries a fan. Dai Teng has very big power and is considered to be almost like a god. It is believed that Teng live on Mount Takao, which is in the western part of Tokyo. The Teng punished the bad people and helped the faithful who came to worship at the temple and shrines on top of the mountain. There are many legends about Teng on Mount Takao. Another Japanese yokai is called Amabie. It has a long hair, diamond-shaped eyes, a beak, and three fins. And also it has a scales on the upper part of it, while lower body has hair. It looks like half person, half fish. It appeared in Kumamoto Prefecture in the Edo period in 1846. One day, people noticed there was something shining under the sea. When the government official arrived at the spot of the light, Amabie emerged from the sea. Amabie introduced itself and predicted two things. First, a rich harvest would bless Japan for the next six years. Second, a pandemic would ravage the country. However, the mysterious creature instructed that in order to stave off the disease, people should draw an image of Amabie and share it with as many people as possible. Interest in Amabie has grown since February 2020, when the coronavirus began raising in the world. People in Japan were also afraid of the spread of this virus. On 27th February in this year, a store specializing in yokai kakejuku posted an illustration and information about Amabie. Amabie is said to have the power to drive away a bad illness. So the power of that store so drawing Amabie could be a good way to save people from coronavirus. People who saw the post agreed to also post their work. This is one of the example work of Amabie. This is Japanese sweets called Wagashi. This sweets is made in Onkashitsukasa Ogia in Funabashi. An owner here said, red being used for wagashi can remove evil spirits. So he thought the power of amabie and red being can cheer up people. That's why these sweets were created. This picture is a Japanese sweet store called Naraha near Musashikogane Station. It also sells some amabie products. If you are interested in this store, why don't you visit here? This is another example of how people are connecting with Amabie. It has become popular to draw Amabie and post it on Twitter with hash Amabie challenge so that this post can be shared on the internet. This challenge was done not only by regular people, but also by celebrities as well. This illustration was posted by an actor named Yudai Chiba, and he said it was a wonderful way to connect with other people even when we can't meet. Finally, you can do this Amabia challenge as well. There are a lot of ways to enjoy it. For example, sharing your work on Instagram, drawing illustrations, or baking some sweets. 
So why don't you try it while you stay at home? This is a way people all over the world can connect by using a part of Japanese culture. Thank you for watching us. Have a good day. Hello. Hello! Welcome to our class! Every culture has remedies that people use at home and that have been passed down through the generations. Today, we'd like to tell you about Japanese folk medicines. We've chosen three interesting examples of folk medicine to introduce. First, Dokudami. Second, Kwanso. And finally, Centipede. So first, the kudami is a very common plant in Japan. It has heart-shaped leaves and white flowers that bloom in the early summer. Doku means poison. Dami means cure or fix. So the name means to limit the spread of venom or poison. It has a strong smell, but it is considered useful and really effective for hay fever, runny nose, sneezing, itchy eyes, and breathing problems. You can use the leaves as is. First, prepare four leaves. Then, add a pinch of salt and rub together until an extract appears from the leaves. This image looks distorted. After that, roll the leaves together and push lightly into your nostrils. Keep it there for 10 minutes. This is said to be good for seasonal allergies. Dokudami can be used as tea and has other good effects for your body, such as digestive upset like constipation and stomachache. You need to only drink two cups of tea per day in the morning and before you sleep. And there's no caffeine in Dokudami tea, so you can get a deep sleep. So you can see Dokudami is a really useful and versatile remedy. Next. I'd like to introduce a memory for when you can sleep well that comes from Okinawa. Okinawa a group of islands located in the south, southernmost part of Japan. The distance from Tokyo is about 1,600 km. Okinawa has its own culture including food and music, and of, of course, its own folk medicine. Kwanso is a remedy that comes from a early that grew, grown in Okinawa. It can help you fall asleep more easily and it has been incorporated into sleep supplement. Kwanso is usually made into tea and effective when ingested 100 mg or more. I would like to talk about centipedes. What would you do if a centipede bites you? In Tokushima Prefecture have folk medicine to care if centipedes bites you. Do you know where Tokushima Prefecture is located? It is on the island of Shikoku. In Tokushima Prefecture, they have a folk medicine made from centipede and edible oil. A centipede is put in oil for about two to three months until it dissolves. And in this prefecture, use this oil to care if centipede bites you. If a centipede bites, they use this oil. Today, we have told you about three interesting types of folk medicine in Japan, but there are many others. 
If you have a chance to come to Japan, you can maybe learn about them more if you are interested. It is a fascinating side of Japanese culture that most people don't know about. Thank you for listening. Bye. Bye.